Okay, gang. Now, my son is 27 years old. Still buy him Hot Wheel cars, even though he doesn't care. He's, yeah, he's got a four-wheel drive GMC. <clears throat> Disappointing, because uh, I'm a Ford guy. He was a Ford guy until he uh, traded off his Ford for a Jeep Cherokee that was real nice, and then it went down. It, it, it was totaled in an accident, so now he's got this GMC. But I'm telling you this because growing up, he was an outdoors kid, and he we were at I don't remember what store it was Toys R Us uh, Target Walmart I don't remember but they came out and you know this is like I don't know 97 98 99 don't hold me exactly to it I don't recall and I don't have any of the packaging left but Bass Pro Shop toys first one that we saw was at Bass Pro Shop I took him up there for, as a surprise for his birthday, gave him $100 and let him run wild, and he bought all kind of tackle. And it was surprised me he bought his uncle something, and he bought his best friend some stuff. I thought that was real nice of him. I guess I did right by raising him as a single parent. So anyway, let me quit bragging on myself. He was always an outdoors kid. As he's gotten older, he's like every other kid in that millennial age bracket knows everything uh, plays video games and has the only opinion that matters about any subject ever but I still love him so he bought some Bass Pro stuff toys when we went to the Bass Pro shop but I don't remember what he actually bought but then we went to uh, one of the stores uh, Target Toys R Us or Walmart and every now and then he'd buy a set well actually you know how it works I bought them and I always thought it was pretty high pricing for what they was at getting you got like a canoe uh, a guy in sort of tackle or I don't know if it came with tackle boxes or not some of this stuff is missing you know at Christmas time when they have the popcorn cans uh, we put them all in popcorn cans because at some reason or another, that's an easy, quick gift to, you know, friends or somebody wanted to give you something, they'd give you a popcorn can. So he had two of them full. One of the cans I can't find. I don't. It's around here somewhere, uh, but this one I found. Wasn't looking for it. I just walked up and, what is in this can? No lid or nothing, and it's all this crap. So uh, let's check it out. I'm going to zoom in. I hope I don't lose focus. But there's a few different sets here, and I don't, I can't recall what went with what set. But and I think that I think every bit of this is Bass Pro stuff. Could be wrong. The, the rescue set could be something else. But it's snowmobile, uh, the dog. It's got ski pole skis. Skis are actually leaning, leaning back there on a the boat. Uh, what do you call those things? The boards they ski on now? Anyway, one of those. Uh, snowshoes, there. A medical kit that looks just like the coolers. <laughs> I'm getting my hand out of there. But you know, it's pretty good little sets. Uh, there's two canoes and a raft. Now, you, uh, back when I was married, life was good. We were avid rafters. And then after the divorce and I was going under, I had to sell all my stuff and killed me. Uh, so be it. We got a raft back there with the oars, and both oars are there. One of them, I think, fell down behind the boat, actually laying behind the fishing poles. Uh, the canoe oars are there. The ten, uh, look at the, uh, there's the fishing poles. Uh, fish, there's two fish and one net. I don't know if there's supposed to be another net. It might, if it is, it could be another can. On the table, there's two stoves, a lantern. Uh, there's the tent. There's a cot. On this table, you see a little fire thing. There's another one right there. Uh, another lantern, there's that little black thing right over there. There's two walkie-talkies. Both of them are on the tables, one on each table. Uh, let's see. There you go. Close up to that table. Two bicycles and uh oh good lord. They used to have these little bitty finger skateboards and he's got a little portable skateboard park and they, they also had bicycles at the same time. All these are plastic and they got pegs for the feet of the cool dudes in the back. Um 
got two uh, four wheelers with the guys on them that's the blade for one of them I want to say it's for the red one because it's a rescue dude actually that should be over here it doesn't matter there's a trailer for the four wheelers in the back now the two guys I don't know if the the hats are removable or what one guy's got a hat one guy doesn't but both of them have backpacks and then there's the wannabe hardcore outdoors guy with his uh, cargo shorts what do they call them Timberlands uh, uh, you know I still wear the same stuff I wore all my life that is now in style I was poor and made fun of when I wore it when I was a kid now it's in style so I really don't care about all this stuff uh, it is cool it's in good shape it's super dusty and I gotta find the missing can I think what I'll do is I'll bag them up and put them back in the can but this is something that I bought me out of the the uh, Bass Pro Shop line hang on just a second there's Bronco see the Bass Pro decal there's a dude in there doors actually open oh yeah dirt dirty look at this you see how filthy that is my gosh and this stuff was uh this wasn't with this other stuff in the can i actually put this on a shelf and it sat in the back of the shelf and i completely lost thought of it and the other day i got to what happened in that bronco and i went and found it here it is it's like a 78 79 body style bronco the door opens uh, and it just came by itself i think i may still have the box of this if I do, I might put a solo video of this with a box. I think the boxes might be in the closet. Uh, oversized tires, fender flares, which I hate when people put fender flares on because uh, usually that means they cut the fenders. Uh, spin this bad boy around. Bush guard, winch with a hook, and I got the little knob there. You turn the winch. Uh, what's going to come out? It's got Ford across the hood. God, this thing's dirty. Orange has to be my favorite color. My Bronco is brown, and if I repaint it, it's going to go back to the color. Um, by the way, I got a tailgate on order for it. Um, I actually put new tires on my Bronco. I actually put the factory size. I always, I always put 31s on it. And uh, you know, if you if you own a Bronco and it's factory height, and you put 31s or anything bigger, they scrub. If you hit too hard, you bottom out everywhere. Uh, so this time I put the factory style factory size on it man <laughs> they look so tiny uh, and I put the white letters out usually I turn the white letters in but this time I put them out I don't know if that means I'm going to retire from trail riding because I have been abusing it my Bronco's name is Traveler and if you don't name your vehicles that's your problem but my Bronco name is Traveler my rag top is the LLTD it was named by my little brother after LL Cool J <laughs> uh it will not it did not keep that name so anyway here's the side uh door opens got the brass bass pro shop decal got the bronco logo these are stickers i'm surprised they're still on there and the back it has bronco i promise you it does god things dirty and forward on the bumper got a hitch for a boat now every now and then i'll get on ebay well, let's step back I think I paid just for this maybe like 15 bucks came with the dude the Bronco and that was it I don't think I don't recall it coming with anything else uh, the other can of Bass Pro stuff stuff uh, Bass Pro Shop stuff it has another type of truck in it it might be a Chevy I can't recall but that can I'll find that can eventually maybe post it when I do because it's got a hundred more things in it uh, but getting back to what I saw on eBay I, I get on eBay every now and then and I'll put in toy Broncos and one of these actually popped up and I, it was the bid was up to $35 and I regret not watching it because I know I wasn't interested in buying it especially for $35 so I got one uh, and that was several years ago I guess I need to go on eBay and again and look and see if there are any of these on eBay uh, speaking of Broncos mine gets used it's uh it's got some dings in it um needs a paint job it needs a lot of work but 
it's not a mall crawler like you see nowadays all these people buying these eighty thousand dollar pickup trucks and decking them out like they're doing something hardcore and they go to the grocery stores in them weak weak individuals all right gang mall crawlers suck the trucks don't the people do but that's it for this one hope you enjoy